Greg Perry from WriteNerd.com with a Facebook productivity tip. Facebook is pretty boring when it comes to text formatting. You can write regular characters, but that's about it. No italics, no bold, no fun stuff. Or is there? You deserve to have more fun than Facebook lets you have, so what if I were to show you how to do something like this? You can post text that has all sorts of formatting capabilities, underline, boldface, italics, and all sorts of funny stuff. I'm going to post that right now, and you will see it does appear on my page just like that. Look at all that stuff, and there's more where that came from. But let me give you a warning before I show you how to do this. I read one time that with great power comes great responsibility. Or was it to whom much is given, much will be required? Hmm, one of those, if not both. Don't overuse this power that I'm about to show you. This type of post with all sorts of different formatting is just ugly. It's kind of fun to do once. We all will do it once. But you should write always to express, not to impress. What too much formatting does is take away from your actual message. It does not add to your message. So use this formatting tool sparingly, and your posts will get read more and shared more, and all of your friends are going to want to know how to do this. You don't have to tell them. It'll be our little secret. I'm going to show you two ways to do it. The first way is very simple in that your entire post is going to be one set of formatting. So, by that I mean, this post will be formatted in italics. Okay, that's what I want to italicize. This takes just a few seconds of your time, so stay with me. You cannot do it directly inside Facebook, so I'm going to take what I was going to write, and I'm going to cut that. In other words, copy it to the clipboard and remove it from my post. I'm going to go to a website called Yay Text. YayText.com. This is the whole tool. This is a free tool that lets you do all of this. You might remember that my post is in my Windows clipboard. So I'm going to now paste it, of course Control-V works, into this block and look at all of these options. I can post this with a short strike through, a long strike through, slashes, tildes, underlines, under arrows. I eh, don't really see that. It's kind of hard to see. Uh, under asterisks, lightning bolts above, smileys up there. I can post the text upside down. I can post the text in small caps. Bubble text, where everything is inside a circle. Black bubble text, where it's reversed inside circles. All the letters in parentheses. Here's where we get to the more common items. Boldface, italics, bold and italics, script, bold script, double struck, fracture, which I think they cannot legally say gothic, so they have to make up a word that's kind of gothic-like. Bold gothic, we will say. Classified, for some reason, is not showing up right now. What if I wanted that post that I typed to be in italics, only in italics, not boldface or anything? Remember, all I did was go to yaytext.com and I pasted what I'm going to post inside the top box. I'll then go down and find the formatting that I want done, which in this case is simply italics, and I'm going to copy that text to the clipboard. Now all I have to do is go back to Facebook and paste from my clipboard and magically it appears. I will post that and you will see that this post appears in italics. That's pretty cool. So whatever you want to post in boldface or whatever, you can go here, type it or copy it into your text of yaytext.com, and then simply copy to your clipboard whatever formatting you want. It's a little bit trickier if you want to do what I did at first, and that is mix all of this stuff. It's a little bit trickier. Here's how you can do it. Take a little bit of text at a time. So I'm going to copy. Of course, Control C works fine. And now I'm going to go back to yaytext.com and paste that. 
and I want that to be simply bold. So I'm just going to copy the text. You'll find that over time this kind of starts not working. So what you can do is just reload yay text and it seems to be okay. So I want to go back and copy what and of course there we go again. Anyway for right now let me copy the bold text and you can go to Windows Notepad which you thought until now was only text. But you also thought Facebook was only text. I'm going to paste what I just copied into Notepad. Now you'll notice the second thing that I have is the word amazing and it's in boldface italics. So I can go to yaytext.com, type amazing, and then I can go down to boldface italics and copy that to my Windows clipboard. I assume it works on a Mac too. Then I will go back to my Notepad editor and paste what I just typed. Now, it looks like I also did. I know this is tedious, but that's what I'm saying. It's tedious. I'm going to go back to Facebook and say, okay, the rest of this was simply regular, non-italicized, bold text. So I'm going to copy that to my clipboard, go to Yay Text, and paste that. And I just want that to be bold, so I will copy that. And then I will go back to Notepad. I told you this was a little bit tedious. You only have to do this sort of thing. Sometimes an extra space will appear. I think my Facebook post had a bullet before that. It has a bullet before all of these, so I will go ahead and just add that. You probably want to know how I added a bullet. That's for another podcast. And you can just keep on going down the list, building this post by typing the individual formatted text into yaytext.com and then clicking copy next to the one that you want to copy into the post that you're building and you just keep adding it. Whenever you're finally done with everything, just highlight all of your text with Control A, type Control C to copy it to your clipboard and then you can go to Facebook and post that. And when you post it, it simply will post exactly the way you... Now, uh oh, I, I posted a follow-up to myself. That's okay. You can do follow-ups as well. Wherever you can type in Facebook, you can format your text. Now, believe me, it's much easier, and it's easier on your reader's eyes if your entire post is the same format. But you can mix it up. If you don't mind using Notepad or another text editor, to be the go-between as you build your text based on yaytext.com. You now know how to do all of this weird stuff, but remember, don't overdo it or people will really start hating your posts. I know you didn't think this was possible before, but it's pretty cool, isn't it? Now go out and impress all your buddies.